Hello all and welcome to the session of Ionic. In today's session, we will see step-by-step -step installation for Ionic Framework. The first thing which we need to install for Ionic Framework is Node.js. The link is given in the description which you can click and install. Once you click on the link, you will see this particular screen in front of you. So whichever operating system you are using, depending on that, whichever is compatible, you need to download the Node.js and install. Installation for Windows is simple enough, so I will be showing the installation on Windows. Once your download set, setup is downloaded, once you click on the setup, you will see this wizard which says welcome to Node.js. Once you click on the next button, you will see the license agreement which you will say accept and then we will click on next. Then you have to decide which folder you want to save your Node.js file. So you can see uh, depending on the uh, size and memory which you have, you can change the location to C drive, D drive, E drive. So you can by default it goes into C drive. Once that is done, you click on next. Next, it will show you what you need to install. So all the features which you, uh, you need to install, you have to click. So by default, you're going to take up all the features. You can see your disk usage also, depending on the size you have. You can decide on which drive do you want to install Node.js. Once that is done, it will ask you, do you want to install the basic, uh, you can say, setup or do you want to add some necessary tools also? So for us, when we work with Ionic, we do not require chocolate, so we will not take that and directly click on next button. Once we click on next, it says it is ready to install. Do you want to install? So once I click on install button, the installation starts. And then finally, your setup is done for Node.js. Now how to check whether Node.js has been installed successfully or not? In that case, you will start your CMD and then you will write down there as node minus minus version. So you will get the version of node over here. If you get some other errors, that means node has not been installed properly. So you will check the version of node. You will check the version of NPM also. That is your node packet manager. You will check the version of that as well. Next thing is to install Angular. So to install Angular, the command says npm install minus g at the rate angular slash cli. Once you do this command, your Angular gets installed. Now the next step is to install Ionic. So the command for Ionic is npm install minus g Ionic slash cli. With this particular command, your Ionic gets installed. Now we have to install the editor where we are actually going to work with our files. So editor which we are going to work is VS Code. The setup is very simple enough for VS Code which you will just click on next, next, next. So I agree uh, with the license and then finally click where do you want to save, you decide that. And then finally start your installation. So installation of your visual setup is also simple enough step by step which you can follow. And then click on next, next and then your VS Code has been installed so these are the few steps which you need to follow for your installation of your ionic now while installing your files in your ionic cli you might get some few errors so if suppose you get an error where you have ionic cli exit if that is the error which comes up then you can work with the two commands to fix that error first npm install at the rate ionic app scripts at the rate latest minus minus save slash d uh, minus dev the other command is npm audit fix these two commands are really helpful when you have any issues with the cli so once you use these commands your errors will get fixed and then finally your ionic will get installed thank you